Welcome back. This is Talk to DIY, your best source for automotive know-how and helpful advice anywhere on the television dial. And we've covered everything but the kitchen sink today, and that's a different show. But this part of our show, we like to choose questions that fall just a little left to center. Questions that don't necessarily have to do with engines and transmissions, but still need an answer. And that's why we call this the wild card category. <laughs> Paul is on the phone from Somerville, Tennessee, with an interesting question. Hi, Paul. What's your question? I've been looking everywhere on information on how to make my own LED brake lights that will fit my car. I found tons of pre-made lights, but usually in sizes that won't fit. Does anyone know how to do this or can point me to a how-to site that will explain in depth the wiring and all that's required? Hi, Paul. Yes, we definitely have an answer for you. Could you imagine trying to make your own LED uh, lights? There's a shortcut <laughs> right here for you. Absolutely. What we did for you, Paul, is we contacted Jordan Papanier from Ledtronics. Jordan, you on the phone? Yes, I am. Oh, great. Tell us about your lights and the different styles that you offer. We offer the, the standard 1157, 1156 um, replacement LED bulbs and the newer 3156, 3157 um, wedge-based um, or LED bulbs. Okay, great. I'm just going to turn one around here so you can see what they look like. They're really actually, Paul, I think you'll be quite impressed with the quality of them. I looked at them and said, man, i got to get a catalog. I want to get some of these. But even better? Steve, well, you I put some in the assembly. Well, our, you're, you're right. Our pit, I have to give credit where credit's due. Our pit crew did this behind the scenes, prepped this lens for us with a toggle switch. So I can flip it on. You can see the lights turning on. What you see right here, you can see they're on and off. Pretty cool. And uh, just like it would be in your vehicle. Now, what I want to reveal to you is what goes on behind the scenes here. Let's flip it around and show you what you would have to do if you wanted to replace these bulbs in your own car. And I agree with you, Lauren. I'm going to be doing this. I have the conventional bulbs in my car. They're the standard filament types like this, a single or double filament, double filament filament if you have brake lights, the 1157 bulb. And what you need to know is the LED lights fit right in to the same socket where your original conventional bulb fit. And uh, Jordan, tell us about the life and the other benefits of these LED multiple light emitting diodes, LEDs, on these types of bulbs. For our, our uh, Paul, who asked about this, tell us about the life cycle and other benefits and any tips on installation. Right. Well, like you said, it's a direct replacement, so the bulb envelope size is pretty much the same size as the 1157 or 3157 or 6 uh, type bulbs. The LEDs, like we said, were light-emitting diodes, which is a semiconductor chip, which is encased in epoxy, so it can withstand all the vibration you can uh, throw at it literally and figuratively, so it lasts 100,000 hours. And that's the important thing that everyone will appreciate knowing is they can last many more hours and years than your standard lamp and can take you down the road with more help. Paul, Jordan, thank you for that. And, Paul, that will get you down the road. I'm going out and buying some of these bulbs next. And now we won't have to make them anymore. How Absolutely. about that? Well, we're out of time. Remember, your questions are the fuel that keeps our engine running. So keep them coming to us by calling 1-866-TALK-TO-DIY or logging on to DIYNet.com. We'll try to answer your questions on a future show. And thanks to our guests, transmission expert and automotive journalist Mike Anson and steering and alignment expert Randy Jones. And thanks to you for sending your questions. Keep them coming. See you next time on Talk to DIY.